Let me guess, you're fed up with people stealing your epic drone shots, your beautiful cityscapes and your time lapses. I get it, I hear you. So that's why I'm going to show you how to add a watermark to your videos to stop anyone else from claiming your footage as their own. So to get started, just click the first link in the description. All right, now we're in Veed, we're going to click upload a file. We're going to choose the video that we want to add our watermark to and just give that a minute to upload. Now, once that's finished, we're going to head to the left hand column here and click text. And you can choose from any of the designs you see. But if you want to create your own, just go ahead and click headline title and write your name, your business or whoever owns the footage. And now I'm just going to click the styles tab and choose my font, my size, and lastly, a color. I think I'm going to stick with white for now. And we just need to move our opacity down to around 40 to 50%. Anywhere in that range is good. It's enough so nobody can steal your footage, but it's not so much that it disrupts your viewer from enjoying your videos. Now, if you have a brand name or a motto attached to your business, you can go ahead and click add another text box and just repeat the same process. Once we're finished with the text, we're going to head to the timeline and drag all of those text bars over to the end of the video. Now, there's one final touch that we can add just to make sure with 100% certainty that nobody's going to steal our footage. So we're going to head to the left hand column. We're going to click elements and choose shapes. And I'm just going to go for a square. You can pick a different shape if you like. Now on the timeline, we're going to drag that shape bar below those text layers and just drag it over so that it stays on screen for the entirety of our video. Now we can make it bigger so that it surrounds the text and we can also change the color for both the square and the outline. And we just need to turn the opacity of both those colors down to around 30%. Perfect. Now we just need to render and export our video. So to do that, just click export in the top right hand corner, choose render settings and click export once more. Now it's going to take a minute or two here to render. And once that's done, we're going to watch it through just to make sure we're happy with our watermark. And once that's finished, we can click download and download MP4. And that's it. That is how you add a watermark to your footage and stop others from claiming your videos as their own. I really hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, go on and give us a like, subscribe for more editing content and leave me any comments or questions down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.